Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, go down and click subscribe. And no matter who you are, where you've come from, uh, make sure you're subscribed and you're hitting that little bell notification icon. If you need IT support, no matter whether it's storage, security, wireless networking, voice over IP, wired networking, uh, best practices, documentation, you just need somebody to, to bounce ideas also off of, go down to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will contact you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. And what we are talking about today is... Uh, at some point on social media today, I, I posted a thing asking, what is the most what is the most amount of VLANs? What is the largest amount of VLANs you've ever set up on an edge router? I did close to 200 last night, early in this morning. I actually came up with a shortcut, and I posted that, and then somebody asked me, hey, can you uh, post a video on how you created the shortcut on how to do this? Now, it still took me about three and a half hours because by the time you create almost 200 VLANs, you double-check everything before you copy and paste. You've got to create firewall rules. You've got to set up the DHCP, and each one of those commands was a little bit different with this, with what we're going to do. So I'm going to call this Easy Config Creator. I'm going to leave a link to this down below after we fill this out. And we are going to use a command that I can't always uh, pronounce, and it's called concatenate. Concatenate, and we're going to use that in a spreadsheet to join a bunch of information together. And it's going to be uh, awesome because it's going to do some shortcuts for us, and it's still going to take you a while to do this because you'll always want to proof everything, and you got to do commit and and save, and you just sometimes you run into trouble. But between firewall commands and DHCP setup and all that. It took a while, but I'll tell you that using this spreadsheet was still way, 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 way quicker than trying to enter all this by hand and do it accurately late at night and early in the morning. So what I've done is I've laid out this spreadsheet. This command over here is the command that we're trying to get to. Set interfaces, Ethernet, ETH4, VIF10, address 192.168.0.1 slash 24. So what does that command do? In a Ubiquiti Network's edge router, this command creates a VLAN off of ETH4 and gives it the IP address 192.168.0.1 slash 24 or 255.255.255.0, giving you 254 usable IP addresses in that network. You're going to have to look at this and decide, you know, how big your networks are. The one, the one that I used this for last night, we're now, you know, we're several thousand lines into this configuration. I'm not going to show you that config because it is someone's private configuration, but I will show you how I leverage this to help me get through that as quick as possible and with as few of errors as possible. So what we've got to do first is we've got to break down this command and we're going to break it down first into things that won't change. Things that are going to stay the same for the entire command. So we're going to start here on line three and if we look at this command, Things that are not going to change. Set interface interfaces Ethernet ETH for VIF. That will not change. That is the root of this command that we're going to be running. Now the next thing is the actual VLAN. So in this case, the first one's going to be 10, and that will change. Now the next thing that won't change is let's see the word address. Now what we've got to do is to do the networks properly based on preference, um, however you want to set this nomenclature up, this part of the network isn't going to change. So we're going to put in 192.168. That is not going to change. We are staying within the 192.168 address space on the front end. Now the third octet, the, that network portion will change, and you're going to see this here in a second. Now the next thing is we're going to start here. This is the network number. That third octet is 10. Then the interface is always going to be dot one. Some people use 254. I've seen some in the middle of a subnet. doesn't matter. And then the subnet mask. In this case, it's never going to change. Now, in the one that I was working on last night, everything was a slash 30. They were much smaller networks, but I had to have a lot of them. Um, and so 
that was, you know, you're going to have to, I'm going to release this tool to you so you can see how we did it, but you're going to have to be able to craft it and understand it, which is what this video is about, to use it for your own installations. Now, what we're going to do is let's say we're going to create uh, 15 of these. So I can drag this on down to what, 18? Is that right? And that will never change. So that part of the command, done. Not going to touch it. Now, the VLAN will change, and a lot of people like to have the VLAN, and I know I do, uh, when I can, I like to have the VLAN number uh, uh, equal that network number, that octet that always changes, right? So here, what we're going to do, though, is we are going to separate, um, you know what, we're going to make this easy. So we're going to do VLAN uh, 10, 11, 12, right? So this is going to understand what we're doing. We're going to run this down and it should increment it and there it did from 10 to 25 perfect so there's our vlan numbers address won't change so we're just going to drag this guy down and 192 168 won't change what i don't know is if i drag it is it going to increment it, it is not which is perfect i couldn't remember that from last night so this network will change so 11 and 12 and people are going to yell and say you could do that an easier way and that's fine uh, but i'm going to do it this way for now so now vlans match that network number that's perfect uh, this is not going to change which is that uh, the number one which is going to be that interface ip and our net mask is not going to change so we're going to copy this because it's allowable to start incrementing at any time now we have all the things uh laid out you can see how quickly quickly we're able to use functions inside of a spreadsheet program and i'm using uh google sheets to lay this out so now we got to use that command that i can't pronounce all the time uh reliably and we're going to join these together so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do equals and we're going to start putting it in and google's going to know we want to use a function so it's going to show us all the functions that start with con. So we're going to bring this up. Now this allows us to join things together. So watch how we're going to do this. So we're going to do A3, comma, and that one won't change. Now what we've got to do is we don't want to join everything without spaces. We want to join some things without spaces, some things with periods, but we need to have some spaces in here. Otherwise the edge router is going to throw an absolute fit and kick these out in air. So to put a, a space in, what we're going to do is we're going to do open quote, space, end quote, and that's going to insert a space. And we're going to do comma, B3, comma. We need another space, comma, C3, comma. And you'll have to always make sure you understand the syntax of the command that you're doing this for because you are going to have to have spaces in some places and not others. So we did C3 and we did a space, comma, D3. Now, what we don't need is we don't need a space, but we don't need a period because I've already got a period after the one after the 168. So we're going to do comma, E3, comma, open quote, period, close quote, comma, open quote, period, close quote, F3, comma, G3. And then we're going to do a close parentheses. And we got an error because I screwed up somewhere. And I know I did it. As soon as I did it, I forgot a comma right there. Cannot forget your commas. If you forget commas, you forget. If you screw the syntax up, you're going to get that error. So it's not always bad that you get an error because then it forces you to go ahead and take a look at that. Now, I've done something else to the command. Now I've got double periods in there. And why do I have a double period? Because did I forget something? 192, 168, which is D3. E3 is 10. Yeah, we put too many periods in here. Too much talk and not enough paying attention. And so now, now look, we have this full command that we can copy and paste into the edge router. Now here's the beautiful thing. Since this is a formula, what we can do is we can drag this. And if you look at what has happened now, it is now inserted, uh, you know, uh, 10, 11, 12 for your, your VLAN. And it's also then matched up network so if we do a notepad here 
and we come back over here and we do a control C and we come back over to a notepad, guess what's going to happen? Now you've got the actual commands. Now you can check it one more time, make sure it's right, make sure it's what you want, and then paste it into the console. I mean, you could even do, I mean, if you really wanted to get uh, crazy, man, what you could do is do a commit and a save here. And so now you literally SSH into the router. You could even configure P-Link uh, to do this, I guess, so that you don't even have to look in the router. But I'm, I want to make sure things are right. So, but you could copy this. Once you're SSH into the router, it's going to run the configure command. It's going to set all those interfaces. It's going to do a commit and a save, and you're going to be done. So it really is... It is that easy. You just you have to play play around with it. You know, use technology to help configure technology. Use some shortcuts. In fact, I'm 100% sure that somebody out there watching this can probably create a form for us where we could forward the, you know feed this information in, tell it how many networks we want, and it could probably just spit it out for us. Um, but I took this exact same formula. I created firewall rules with it. I've uh, also created DHCP configurations, which is like, I think that's an additional four lines. A firewall is like a couple lines. So it's, it's a lot of lines. But this, even though it took me three and a half hours to do that, um, that was some playing with this. It is still, I mean, do you know me? Uh, thousands of lines it would have been to type and then to make sure they were right. And it would have just been, it would just been crazy. So that's it. Use this. Like I said, I will put a link to this exact spreadsheet down below in the comments. You can uh, take a look at it, see how we worked it out. But if you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need that IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to somebody who can. As always, Patreon link is below if you want to become a patron. Thank you to those folks. All the Amazon and other affiliate links are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep things rolling in. And I want to thank everybody who uses those because they are not mandatory. So thank you, everybody, for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.